Hello, a few disclaimers before I start. A, I'm not a mechanic or an influencer, I just share what I did. And uh, sorry, my video skills aren't that amazing, so do your work at your own risk. I save a lot of money by doing my own repairs by watching YouTube, so hopefully this helps you like others have helped me. And maybe by now somebody who is a mechanic will have posted a way better video th than this. So, until then. So it's time to work on the wife's 2016 Honda Civic. This is a 2016 1.5 liter EXL. I don't know if this matches the other models, but I would guess they're probably going to be similar or the same. Anyways, the serpentine belt is down in there. And you can see the amazing access that you have. So... Unfortunately, YouTube University didn't have much in the way of actual videos on this 10th generation Civic, so I'm going to contribute to the body of knowledge. Alright, here are the tools that I used. There's a 19 millimeter. I used a flex head ratcheting, but you could probably do it with a regular. There's a plastic clip removal tool. I used a number two Phillips quarter inch flathead, quarter inch drive socket with a 10 millimeter and a five millimeter Allen head key. And that was it. First I chalked the wheels so the car doesn't roll onto me. Next I turned the wheels to the right and I jacked it up from the lifting point so I could get access. You can see right here is the lifting point that I used. And I tried to get as much access as I could, so I lifted it as high as it would go. And then next, I put it on a jack stand because hydraulics fail sometimes. So the jack stand is there to save me. Then you gotta get access behind the front passenger wheel to that panel right there. That one. All right, so under the car, you'll see the skid pan. Well, it's tin, but it's a skid pan. Anyways, you've got two little hex head bolts. Right there and right there. And to the outside, you've got two little Phillips. One right there and one right there. And you have these little clips right here. There are five of these little clips. They're just little quarter turn locking. There are six of those clips. One, two, three, and then the other three on the other side. One right there, one right there, and one right there. That lets you get your skid pan off. There's these little clips right here. There's four of them. One, two, three, and four. So when you're taking it off, it's easy. When you're putting it back up, I slid the front on first. And then as I held the left and the right simultaneously, I slid them onto those clips. Inside the wheel well, there's a plastic clip up here. And then there's one over here. So that's behind the front passenger wheel. Here's these little push pins. These depress in here and they're flush. This expands outwards. In order to remove them, use this little clip removal tool. You could probably also use a flathead screwdriver. You pry this out. These are plastic and usually these break. But anyways, uh, in order to put them back in, put uh, push these together, put it in the hole, and then depress that. So here's this one. I already got it in the hole. So there it is. Now it's put back in place. After you get the skid pan off, you've got these little plastic clips right there, right there. And then uh, you've got a little five millimeter Allen bolt right there that connects several of these panels together. And then you've got, let's see, this one and this one. And then there's supposed to be one here, but that fell out. That gives you access to this panel, and the serpentine belt is behind that panel. 
and there is access to the serpentine belt. All right, so this is the serpentine belt in here. You can see the hydraulic tensioner right there and right up there at the top right there is the 19 millimeter bolt that you're going to loosen that's what i did i have a flex head ratcheting wrench 19 millimeter i tried using the long wrench and it won't actually clear everything Put that on there, push it towards the rear of the car, and you can loosen the belt and get the new belt back on. Here's an image of the routing that I was able to find on the internet, as well as some directions on the right. It appears to be from a Honda manual. Before you loosen everything, make sure that your belt pattern matches or draw a new routing diagram. Once I loosened the belt tensioner and held it loose with one hand, I freed the old belt in a minute or so. I put the new belt in place, leaving the belt off of the lower front pulley. Then while I held the tensioner bolt in the loose position, I slipped the belt over that last pulley. After that, I gave everything a good once over to make sure I put the smooth side around the idler pulley and the ribbed side around each of the other pulleys. I also checked everything against the routing diagram and then buttoned everything up in reverse order. No extra parts were lying around, yay me, so I put everything away and took it for a test drive. All in, I spent $73, including tax, for a genuine Honda belt, plus my time. If I would have had this video, it would have taken about 30 minutes total. Since I didn't, and I also spent time making this video, I probably spent about 2 hours total, plus the $73. I don't recall the original price quoted, but I think the dealership wanted some three or $400 to do this. So that's about it. Hopefully this video helps you. I don't know how the like or subscribe bit works, so hit it, don't hit it, whatever floats your boat. Until the next time I find something that YouTube doesn't already have a video about, take care.